the squash is starting to die back a little bit and it's starting to get a little powdery mildew and I think these uh, squash are ready to harvest. So I'm going to go ahead and see what we have today. This is the largest one we have and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this inside and we're going to see how much it weighs. If I had to guess, I'm guessing close to 20 pounds, but it could be a little more, could be a little less. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Here's that big one again. It weighed 24.2 pounds. Then we have some other decent sized ones. I'm not going to weigh all of them. I might weigh that second largest one here. I think it'd be either this one or that one. But uh, I'm really pleased with the way this did out in our garden. And uh, as I mentioned before in other videos, this is kind of an ancient heirloom. Um, Native Americans grew it, uh, so it's been well tested. And you know, when you're talking about something that's been grown uh, locally or in our country for hundreds of years, uh, can't get get much better testing ground than that and uh, being resistant to the squash vine borer was probably my biggest reason that I grew this and I'm really happy the, with the way they turned out even though I haven't tried one yet I've uh, read where they make uh, excellent pies and some people even prefer the pies made with these over pies made with pumpkins. But since I've only grown it once, you know, I can't say for sure um, if it would do this well every year, but for a first try, I think it did pretty, pretty good. If you have lots of trouble with squash vine borers, you might consider trying these. Uh, I had really good luck with them this year and for anybody who's watched my videos you know that uh, I've had lots of trouble with squash vine borers and I can't even grow zucchini and summer squash uh, without having the vine borers just wipe me out every time I give it a try. But the only way I've had luck with it is to plant uh, late enough to where they stop laying eggs by the time uh, the plant gets going. I can start them covered up and then uncover them and get a few towards the end of the summer or early fall. If you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Otherwise, like, comment, and share. We'll see you next time.